Hey everyone, how's it going? This is David Shea. This is going to be probably the most important video you watch all day, and it's related to, yes, you guessed it, well maybe not, your backups. Almost every single time I go to visit a new client, every single time, even if they have a computer tech already, and maybe they're getting ready to fire them, their, their backups just aren't up to par. They're not what they should be, especially for a business. A lot of times, they don't even have a backup. So I wanted to touch base on a few things you need to consider with your backup. The first one is, where are you backing up your stuff? Is it to the cloud? Is it local? Is it both? You need to have both. Um, the second one, the, the second thing you need to consider is, are you just backing up to a USB drive? The problem with a USB drive is that it's directly plugged into your server, which was fine until ransomware became a thing. The problem is that ransomware is gonna attack anything that actually lands on your server. It's gonna attack your backup. So if all you have is a backup on a USB, then you're in big trouble. Okay, the next one is, um, is when was the last time you actually tested your backup? If you haven't looked at your backup in a while, chances are you don't actually have a backup. We just took care of a, an office that their hard drive died because they weren't monitoring their server and they were, they were so shocker. Uh, they were surprised one Monday beautiful morning when their server wouldn't turn on. And so we went in and uh, looked at their backup and their last backup was from almost a year ago because they, I was like, do you got a backup? They're like, yeah, we got a backup. Looked at it, <laughs> you know, I mean, it is what it is, um, but that's also why you want redundant backups. Okay, the next thing you need to consider is, uh, so you got a backup and uh, you're checking it regularly. Um, are you the one that's actually initiating the backup? Does it require human intervention in order for that backup to happen? If so, if you're manually copying everything, that's not really a backup. First of all, you need to have multiple copies of multiple days of your backups because let's say something happened yesterday and then the backup happened last night, all of a sudden, whatever you needed from yesterday is gone. You need to be able to go back at least a week, preferably a month, at, I mean, maybe even longer depending on your business. Maybe there's even um, compliancy issues that require you to maintain for several years. It depends on your business. Finally, the last thing that nobody considers with their backups is, here's the secret, how quickly can you get your stuff back? How quickly can you get back in business if a worst case scenario happened? If all you're doing is backing up your files on like a cheap carbonite and everything's backing up to the cloud and your server takes a dump and let's say that once upon a time you spent, you paid somebody 40 hours worth of time to configure the server, guess what? You got to do all that over again. Plus, you got to re-download everything over again. You got to reinstall your software, your operating system. You got to reconnect the workstations. All of those things take time and cost a lot of money. Not just you know costing money to get that stuff set up, but also uh, it's going to cost you a lot of money in terms of being down because your business isn't going to be running during those times. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If this was helpful, uh, go ahead and share it. Uh, it's very, very important information. Like seriously, this is the most important video you can watch because it's not if, but when you have computer problems. My name is David Shea, Active IT Solutions. Thanks again. Bye.